Tales from Liyue. Come take a look. We're back. Let's commit detour Come number in, two. Come take a seat. We have a few special. Hopefully this quest isn't as long as the Looptical one, but who knows. What will it be? Grape juice or apple cider? Hey Charles! Have you seen a blonde stranger who wears an eye patch around here by any chance? That I have. He comes here every night. Just a drink, though. Doesn't order anything else. He even sometimes mixes his own drinks after he orders them. I don't know anything else about him, but from his selections and mixes, I'd say that he's quite the connoisseur. And what's Master D. Luke's opinion? Why, I just gave it to you. Quite the connoisseur. Investigating everything as always. Guess that's D. Luke for you. If you're looking for that gentleman, he ordered some new bottle of wine in advance yesterday. So he should be here today, too. There's too many raucous patrons on the first floor, so if you want to wait, best to go to the second. Another wine adventure. Go to the second floor of the tavern and commence the waiting. Ah, welcome, sir. The wine that you previously ordered is here. He's really here? Let's go downstairs and have a look. That kind of looks like the brother, but I guess it's not. Intention of paying us any mind, huh? A traveler, you say? <laughs> Why are you traveling? Wow, it's Yuri. <sighs> well, that's as good a reason as any. Sit down over there, then. So, guess we've broken the ice. What a weird guy. Hmm, that little one beside you. Uh-huh, we're the best of friends! It's indeed a good thing to have someone accompany you on your travels. My name's Dainsliff. I suppose you have some business with me? Sure. Weird. He was so cold just a moment before. Hyman's got a bad feeling about this. But I will require advance payment. 500 mora and three answered questions. The 500 is a one time fee, and we'll settle the questions in a moment. That's it. Well, now Paimon's got a really bad feeling. That kind of compensation can't be right. Ah, thank you. Now, as for my questions, I'd like you to answer them here and now. The answer to a question says nothing about right and wrong, only about differences in attitude. I only wish to know what your choices are. You need only answer. Question one. The crisis Mondstadt faced was resolved by an alliance between yourself and that... Animo Archon who calls himself Venti. Who, in your view, was the key to ending that crisis? Is he a Fatui? I know everything that I should. <laughs> well, answer the question. Yeah, he looks like a Fatui. Is that your answer? Hmm. 
I see. Because it wasn't just us and Fenty, right? It was D-Luke, Gene, a group effort. Question number two. Rex Lapis, who has defended Liyue Harbor for millennia on end, used his gnosis to lay down a contract to end all contracts, of which the stipulations are still unknown. Interesting that he knows about that. Who do you think will defend Liyue Harbor in the future, now that they've lost their deity? So that's your answer? I see. Now for my final question. This world has people who gained visions, and those who did not. Which of the two do you think hold more importance in the eyes of the gods? So, this is your answer then. I understand. As I thought, you really are similar to him. <laughs> I'll take that 500 Mora. And now I also understand your views on this world. As we agreed, you may now commission me. That said, I only take commissions related to the Abyss Order. Like you, I am currently on a journey. You intend to find your sibling, while I wish to oppose the Abyss. Ugh. Those creatures that serve the Abyss are the fangs and claws by which the Order spreads chaos in this world. I have come to Mondstadt this time while on the trail of an Abyss Herald. An Abyss Herald? An even more twisted Abyssal being. One that commands the Abyss Mages. Oh, that's right! We've just been fighting against the Fatui and Liyue, who are human too. We haven't encountered the non-human Abyss Order at all. There's some reason behind that, I'm afraid. It's possible that they may have been under orders to avoid your path. Oh, that does sound pretty dangerous. <gasps> Maybe they're looking for a better time to ambush us or something. Uh-huh, we're super duper strong. That manner, it's just like his. Well then, let's go see for ourselves, shall we? According to the leads I have on hand, the Abyss Order has re-infiltrated the Temple of the Falcon. Let's meet up at the temple. Perhaps your questions about the Abyss will be answered there. run over to the temple of the falcon oh it's that is the first one it's the very first dungeon This abandoned temple does bear some marks of the Abyss, the Falcon of the West. Though it can soar in the wind, it ultimately does naught but hover under the light of the gods. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Let's head inside. So is he, like, he in? Abyssal Traces. <sighs> I guess you have to make time pass by doing some of these quests to unlock uh, Inazuma.
The scent of the abyss is getting stronger. It's not far now. I wonder what the abyss girls look like. Do they look something like the abyss mages? Let's head further in first. If we do see that creature, that'll spare me the explanation either way. against us. Oh, and the wolf berries are a new, completely new item.
to hit me. Shudder. More speed. I'll race you there. Eye for an eye. Just a few abyss mages. Seems like that herald might have already left. The abyss. It is chaos, and it is also destruction. It is a morass of inconceivable madness that encroaches upon this world's very foundations. That is why even the Dragon of the East, a servant of a deity, was unable to resist its corrosive powers. And the creatures of the Abyss desire nothing less than the overthrow of a world ruled by the Archons. You seem to know a lot about the Abyss, Dane. <laughs> well, we do have some history. I suppose that's as far as chit-chat goes. We should head to Wolvendom. Judging by the traces I'm following, their next appearance may be within the territory of that old wolf. Perhaps we may find our Abyss Herald there. Is this guy an Archon or something? to loop to go but first oh there's one right here This might be the fastest way. Maybe he's one of the Harbingers. Well, we're in Wolfendom now. Think Dane's waiting for us up ahead? We should meet up with him quick, in case the wolves decide they don't like him. What is that? Lord of Wolfendom, Great Wolf King of the North. Sharp of fang and keen of claw, and yet dwelling here only. No, 
nor does it know me. I only know these things because a previous traveling companion of mine once wanted to hear its story. All right, let's go see if that Abyss Herald has stopped by here. Well, where do we begin? Hmm, are you standing here because of these strange bonfires, Dane? Indeed. See that? Floating above the flames? It's an abyssal spell. Knowing what I do of the Order's habits, they've probably left similar marks behind elsewhere. Let's have a look nearby. Like the abyss really has been around here. Yikes! Where did these monsters pop out from? Let's clear them out and quick! Thank for mercy. Speed. <gasps> Do you think that those monsters by the bonfire are under the Abyss Order's control? Looks kind of scary. Let's beat them up first! Oh, that's that. Let's 
could check out that bonfire. Looks like this bonfire's also got something to do with the abyss. Have you finished searching? I searched around these parts and found some signs myself, but they were left behind by abyss mages, and there was no deeper abyssal power to them. It seems that even an abyss herald would not wish to make trouble with the Wolf King of the North. We should leave as well. If there's anything praiseworthy about that old wolf, it's his territorial nature. But now we're out of leads! Are we going to have to give up? No. There is one more place we can go. Let's get a move on then. I'll wait for you at Storm Terror's lair. Ah, oh, well we saw the cutscene. Okay, I'll heal again. Is there one at Storm Terror's lair? No. Not exactly. So we'll heal here. gonna make us run around Storm Terror's lair. I've heard about what happened to you during Mondstadt's crisis. When you came, this place was known as Storm Terror's lair. But I suppose that this place is more lair than storm terror at this point. In fact, if my memory serves, this ruin has had largely nothing to do with that dragon for a long time. The first time I laid eyes upon the ruins of Old Mondstadt, the dragon of the east had yet to fall, much less come to nest in this place. Huh? But Baima remembers that Devalin first got in trouble hundreds of years ago. Don't think too much about it. Do you remember the light actuators that once sealed this ruin? If the Abyss Order is interested in this location, then they will not neglect those mechanisms. Let's go see what the situation is at those light actuators. Light actuator. <laughs> This guy over here, okay. Look! There are lots of monsters gathered over there! More speed! Crush! I condemn you! 
I wouldn't call not having to gaze upon such a creature a shame, exactly. Still, I do believe that you will come across one eventually. Mm, no, you're right. If it's a really powerful monster, it would be best to go around it. <sighs> How good it would be if all perils one encounters in their journeys could simply be solved by going around them. Once upon a time, yes. I simply have experience from adventuring together with that traveling companion. Uh, you know, Dean, you keep talking about that person this and that person that. Where are they now, anyway? He... no longer travels. I'm afraid that traveling can be too exhausting at times. Oh, is that how it is? Well, why are you traveling alone, then? I still have some things left unfinished. Once they are done, I too will return home to rest. <sighs> yep! And it's good to have a home to come back to, isn't it? We camp out a lot when we travel. Hey, once you find your sibling, we should find a place to stay too, shouldn't we? Mm, Mondstadt's Fisherman's Toast is pretty tasty. But Liyue's Wanmin Restaurant is great too. <sighs> Either way, we should settle down in a place where there's good food. Home. 
Well, it won't be too late to think about where you stay once your journey reaches its end. Hmm. While you're still traveling, you should... Huh? What's familiar? A familiar feeling, you say? It could be someone you know well, or perhaps a monster. Whichever it is, we should see it for ourselves, and thus see clearly. We can reach the top of that cliff from over there. Let's go. Oh, Dan moves really fast, doesn't he? Let's use that wind current nearby to catch up! Can you still sense that familiar feeling that you spoke of earlier? But it doesn't feel like there's anything around here. No monsters, no people, nothing. Hmm. Indeed. There doesn't seem to be anything strange about this place. It doesn't look any different from the last time I was here. My traveling companion brought me here on our previous journey. Hmm. So, Dane? What about you? What's your favorite place? Me? I no longer remember. I merely followed my traveling companion around on that journey. That's all there was to it. Huh? A ruin guard's footprint. A ruin guard was wandering around here? No peace to be found. Even for a single dandelion. that dandelion bears some sort of scent that only you recognize. As for why, has it perhaps experienced something related to you? Uh, you're saying some real confusing stuff. Paimon doesn't get it at all. Do not rush. Vexation and anxiety are the enemy of rational thought. Your journey has only just begun, has it not? At least you now know that he is still on this world. At this time, the most important thing is the journey to find him itself. Yes, and this is something you must keep in mind as the meaning behind your journey. May you find your kin at the end of that journey. Well then, let us part ways here for now. Huh? You're leaving? Already? Only for now. Don't worry, we will meet again. After all, I did take 500 mora and those three answers you gave me. Huh. That was a really important quest. So what's left? We will be reunited. You hear from Lon, Treasure Hoarders. Adventures Guild Affairs.
I can do this really quick quest, I think. Whoa, right underneath the jade chamber. The jade chamber. Hmm. Hmm. Underneath the jade chamber. What is that? A ruin card? Oh, that's... That was funny how they killed me. Stone High Healy Churl. Yeah, that wasn't the most graceful fall from the sky. Looks like, unfortunately, there's one more quest, which is incredibly rough. I thought this would be it, but maybe it is. Maybe I can, uh... audacity to go after anything the seven dragons gods no ancient artifact that relates can escape their greedy ambitions still this time is different who do they think they are going after the abyss orders treasures oh traveler it's you huh Ganyu, what are you doing here with one do you have a commission you need to post hello we were just discussing the treasure hoarders. Yes. We were just saying how even the audacious treasure hoarders should know better than to mess with the Abyss. It's just too evil. But we recently received intel from the Ministry of Civil Affairs that two big-time treasure hoarders in Liyue and Mondstadt are planning some big joint operation. Two big-time treasure hoarders? Yes. They're known as Big Sis of the South and Raptor of the North. Oh, Raptor! Paimon remembers he tried to run away from Amber and Mondstadt. But who is Big Sis of the South? 
You already know something, then. I guess you must have crossed paths with the treasure hoarders many times before. You are correct. She's the head of the treasure hoarders in Liyue. As I understand it, the treasure hoarders all call her boss. Some say that the god of thieves even bestowed a gift upon her for her exploits, making her big sis of the gods. But that's probably just a wild rumor. Anyway, the treasure hoarders discovered some previously unexplored ruins that the Abyss Order has been secretly guarding in the shadows. Despite how dangerous that makes it, all the treasure hoarders can think about is what kinds of treasure could be inside. They have already devised a plan. They will send out a decoy to divert the Abyss Order's forces away from the ruins, then send an expert thief inside to steal the treasure. To this end, Big Sis and Raptor have reportedly recruited a certain Grand Thief from Fontaine. Grand Thief? That's quite an impressive sounding title. Oh, indeed. He is an extraordinary individual. The Grand Thief is highly respected in the Treasure Hoarders, in the same way that we adventurers look up to great adventurers. Ah, so you're familiar with the author of the Tavat Travel Guide, then. Correct. The Grand Thief is someone as renowned as her. So, despite being relative big-timers in Liyue and Mondstadt, Big Sis and Raptor had to put in a lot of work to convince a thief of his status to come and personally oversee this operation. With the major changes in Liyue recently, the Ministry of Civil Affairs and the Millilith already have their hands full. They don't have any time to investigate rumors about treasure hoarder activity. But anything related to the Abyss makes me feel like there is some unknown danger lurking beneath the surface. So I decided to come to the Adventurer's Guild to post a commission. Mm-hmm. Leave this commission to us! Oh, thank you so much. Good to see this in the hands of a reliable guild member. Well then, good luck. The guild will take care of the details of this commission. Act 4. Ad Astra Ab... Not yet. You have already claimed today's reward. Please come back for more commissions tomorrow. Yeah, I messed that up. Okay. So we've got one, possibly two more quests before we can go to Inazuma. More speed. I suppose. Let's see. That one activated itself. Nope, just this one. Just this one. This is the last Archon quest needed to get to Inazuma. So when we come back, we'll finish this up and open up the chain to Inazuma. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time for more Genshin Impact. Later!